So this is our high gear Voyager 10 with a Kalahari front porch on on the other side. Currently camping in Sillard in Cumbria, Solway Holly Village. Got that itchy cook up. Plenty of air vents on either side and at the back. Recommend you keep them open. Plenty of ventilation. Keep our trail at the back. So we've got the Kalahari porch on. I think we've made a rookie mistake of putting the arches, the bigger one at the back, when it should have gone at the front. But it, it doesn't matter for our purpose anyway. But it, do note that there is a slight gap at the side of the tent. Um, but it provides an extra cover over the top. I suggest that you throw something weighted over on one of the guard ropes to help get it over because it's it's a tall tent. We thought today to get our uh, three before gazebo up. Nice little shelter, a lot cooler out here than it is in the tent. Got this off eBay, 42.50. There is a front door for these if you want them as well on, it's optional. We just kept it in the bag because it's warm. Our dog Chase. Say hello Rachel. So, nice little setup out here. Chef, cheese chef, Amy. Uh, our outdoor fridge to keep uh, was There was plenty of icing earlier on. And the door where does come off, so you can have the hole off or have it fastened. Um, we've put a ground sheet in ourselves. There's plenty of windows and ventilation. Um, I know a few of you have been looking at the Aldi kitchens. This was 39.99 for this kitchen. Um, really good storage. We've got shelves that go at the bottom to make it more sturdy. Good little piece of kit. A little storage area, plenty of room in here. So that's the porch normally on the front of it. We've got bits of a gap at side, but as you can see over the top, it does cover the most of the area. So the lads in the dog area, bit of the messiest one. Um, nice little bit of storage. That you get um, and the large room so there is a divider that you can put down and have it in two compartments but for ourselves put it in there we've got a big air bed really good it pumps up um, we've got that from where do we get this air bed uh, eBay. yeah eBay we've got a little TV set up and a lot of you are asking what do you take? Pound shop aerial. Works a treat. We've got a little Android TV box as well. Got a um, power unit from Aldi. Recently bought. It's got three sockets and two USBs. Um, I've also made my own little power supply. It's from a computer to... Um, that's the power of me box. Keep this 12 volts out. Um, dehumidifiers. Well worth the treat. Especially in the morning when you get that conversation. Uh, we've got these chairs from Aldi. Um, what were they, 15 quid? Yeah. 15 pound. Um, my daughter, she likes to have a double camp bed um, with, an air match with, yeah, with an air mattress on top. Um, but what we've done this time, we've not put the extra porch in. Um, we decided to have a living room area. Yeah, so it would be another um, room like that with a large gap in the middle Just for storage. storage. But we've decided to take that off. We've got a nice, a nice little buffy uh, poo from Aldi. We've got some blow up settees. These are the same as the Adventure, Adventure Ridge. Um, I think these were 
How much were they? About 25? Yeah, I think they were about 25 pound each from Aldi, I think. Um, but plenty of ventilation in. Really good setup. And we've got this, um, I think it's a. It's our first food day. Yeah, we've got a Euro hike uh, carpet. It's muddy already. Yeah, it's just to go in. Some shoes. Um, it's been that, raining a lot. Yeah, I think this was about £40, I think. Yeah, um, day two, I think. Yeah. So that's how, that's how we set up. Yep.